Well, the Gates Foundation has partnered with DFID on a great number of things, and uh, among those are our work we do together on livestock, uh, helping animals survive uh, either by having vaccines or better genetics, uh, helping them be more productive. It's making a big difference. Uh, you know, I was down in Ethiopia seeing how chickens are out there uh, laying more eggs, getting more nutrition, uh, and even some small savings into the household. So uh, Edinburgh happens to be where a lot of the world's best. <laughs> you know, it's funny to me how Bill Gates thinks he's smart than all of us. If you listen to this first video, he was basically talking about he is given these animals better genetics and he's giving them vaccines to keep them alive. And my question is, when it comes to the better genetics, let's ask ourselves, does Bill Gates mean that God never gave himself? God never gave him a better genetics and the one that he was given is not good or what? Or the animals that God created, God did not give them better genetics. Listen, I want to say this free advice for anyone who is watching this video. If you have money and you've been able to build your house, you have a place to lay your head. I will say this to you that try as much as possible, buy land in one village, especially in Ghana, for instance, buy land in one village or in different villages and lands lands at these areas or, or at these places they are very 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 cheap listen a one plot of land that you can buy in let's say east legon for hundred thousand dollars that same hundred thousand dollars can buy you about hundred acres or hundred plots of land in some one village in ghana let's grow our own food let's look for the organic seeds let's start growing our own foods let's start rearing our own animals on our own land we should eat what we grow because trust me what this guy is gradually gradually doing if you heard him he said he has gone to ethiopia it means he has gotten to ethiopia and right now the animals that are being reared in ethiopia right now they are doing what they are producing more and more and more than when they were not using his vaccine they were not using his vaccine and this is what bill gates is gradually doing all these things started when we heard that he has bought so many lands in america farmlands so many farmlands in america figured out why bill gates is buying up all this farmland and what it means for you if you're a farmer or rancher Reverend Wild Ranch sent me an article on Instagram about uh, Microsoft buying carbon credits from this cattle company. And, and it seems like he's done at that place and now he's heading towards Africa. He's actually in Africa. Let's go into this video in Kenya right now with the help of the president. That's William Ruto. This same Bill Gates has something called the digital ID, Maisha number. That's the name. And with the together with the president of kenya they are trying to introduce this in kenya so for instance if you are born or if you give birth to a child the kid will no longer have the birth certificate the paper one but they are going to implant a chip something into the body of that child and that is what william ruto that's the president of kenya is asking kenyans to accept listen if you're a ghanian watching this in ghana here there is one particular person that is in that is always talking about digital stuff digital stuff, like digital stuff i'm very sure you know that person and i will be afraid for that person to become president and bill gates will easily use that person to bring this into ghana i don't want to mention anybody's name you know if you're a ghanian you know one person that has been talking about digitalization, digitalization, everything, digitalization. So please, if you are in Kenya, it is better you start fighting against this. We in Ghana, we are waiting for that day. And definitely, I'm sure people are going to fight against it. Let's go into the video and watch. 
what he said. It's global push to support its so-called government-backed digital ID programs. And this time setting its sight on Kenya, where it will advise the government on that country's Maisha Naba digital ID initiative that is currently under development. So according to a Kenyan news agency, Gates' role is assisting the Kenyan government in its development and the rollout of Maisha Namba was announced after a recent series of the closed-door meetings with Kenyan President William Ruto. According to Biometric Update, Maisha Namba is supposedly expected to address different challenges, such as identifying and authenticating citizens, safeguarding primary registration documents such as birth certificates and national identity cards, and improving the management of the social programs and government operations. The project has been met with skepticism in some parts of the country. Rights groups have also been expressing concern over the possibility of discrimination and the erosion of privacy. But listen, I just told you in a very nice way. Now let me just put it blatantly to you. The program targets the birth of new babies. So once you have your baby, before your baby leaves the hospital, you no longer get a paper birth certificate, but then you get a digital one that is somehow implanted somewhere on somebody's body. Think about that, but have a listen to this. Um, the digital ID, which has been a big problem to us for a very long time, is now on a testing mode. For the next two months, I have been assured by all the stakeholders, led by the ministries concerned, that by December, we will be able to launch digital ID, where every Kenyan don't have to carry any paper, plastic or otherwise, as an ID that they should be able to be identified digitally using their iris, or their fingerprints, and we can transact without the necessity. So this is what William Ruto is actually calling Kenyans to accept in their country. You know, sometimes people say African presidents, they are fools. Listen, they are not fools. They know what they are doing. And I will not be surprised. They take some amount of money back door and they just push these things onto us because they don't respect us, they don't care about us, they don't, they don't value us. It's about time African youth or Africans we wake up because if all the time we are going to sit and watch these people do whatever they like, it will get to a point that we cannot do anything. And all these things that they are trying to push onto us, it will eventually do what? Penetrate. It got to a time not even like what we're time we already have gmos in the system else you can grow your your stuffs naturally if you grow gmos on your on your land going back to grow something natural on the land will not grow that that crop will not grow properly like the way it's supposed to this is the problems that we are facing and now bill gates is trying to bring another is this guy not the person that was into it and what happened like what happened he resigned and now he's into genetics and uh, vaccines and whatever whatever let's be serious africans let's wake up thank you thank you so much for watching